trying to rebuild everything, but it really feels like a huge setback. You tie your self-worth to your effort. We very rarely actually get pushed to our physical limit. Reality punched me in the face. This is the best. What's up, dude? There how she are is. You? Hey. Good, how are you? Good. I sent you some more brownies. I hope you like them. I appreciate all the love. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. So my question for you is how do you turn a setback into a setup for your next thing? So I'll give this some context. Um, I had 14 surgeries back to back, including brain surgery, and I was rebuilding my life. I've been rebuilding it one small habit at a time for literally two years to avoid five additional ones. And then I got into a car accident two months ago that jacked up everything. I had to get transported by ambulance because my entire right side went numb. And now I'm kind of back to step one. I had to quit going to the gym and lifting weights because it was causing more flare ups. And I'm just trying to rebuild everything, but it really feels like a huge setback. In my head, this is so <laughs> weird, Doc. But in my head, I'm, I'm thinking through like, this is the best. Really? Yeah. Fuck up. Because this is your this is your chance to show yourself what you're made of. Mm. Like, I, I broke my neck in two spots. I had a 50% chance of having surgery. Luckily, I didn't have to go through it. I haven't gone through as much as you had to. But when that happened, I stayed on my tour, right? I was, I was, we spoke before I broke my neck on my yeah. tour, but um, I spent the last month of my tour going city to city with a broken neck and, and sitting at the front of the room, sitting down, I couldn't stand at all with, with pillows behind me and an ice pack, you know, on my neck for three hours in massive pain. And I'm pumped. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> Not not even for the audience, not even for like to hope to inspire them, but for myself, because we very rarely actually get pushed to our physical limit. Yeah. And and you you are like you you're you're fortunate. Yeah. It's just freaking been, brutal, man. I mean, before I can only be upright for three hours a day and now I'm like, all right, I need to remember how to get home. I need to you know, they just waved me last week to not need a second brain surgery which would have meant that they needed to remove the back part of my brain or cauterize it. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, keep a burning torch away from the back of my brain, please. So I'm blessed that I was, you know, waved on that condition. But just the, the idea of rebuilding this all again as I've been climbing out of hell is what it seems like for many years. It seems brutal, man, and it seems sadistic that I'm like, okay, I was seeing what I was made of. I finally was about to make it, and then reality punched me in the face. M Melissa does brutal things. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to document it more, too. The, 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 yeah, I mean, for yourself, the document it. Uh, listen, I'm thinking about doing a tour next year as well, mm -hmm. 2020 tour for my new book, East Coast, Texas, uh, Northern Mexico. And, and, and I'm, I'm a little sad because it's not going to be as difficult. Mm. Because there's no way I'm going to throw my head against the wall to break my neck again just because. <laughs> right? Well, that's good. <laughs> like, here's the thing. What, what you're going through right now is bio-worthy. Mm -hmm. Like, this is going to go in your bio. Yeah. You're right, man. Yeah, I just want to tap, I've been tapping in that David Goggins, repurposing that and going in the cookie jar like he talks about because, Damn. You really need to tap into that shit or you get a little bit angry about everything showing up again. And then think about all the people who you're going to help mm -hmm. once you get through it. Absolutely. You're going to lift everybody you. up. Like you can do awesome. it now documenting on the journey. I mean, when I broke my neck, I had I did an hour live stream from the hospital with a concussion. I know, dude. That, that shit was so inspiring. Like, oh, my God. When I was watching, I was like, dude. Evan is killing it. His neck's broken, and he doesn't give a shit. He's still showing up. So just like you were talking about on the previous one, the amount of confidence that that built within yourself, like, damn, that's amazing. I, I, it wasn't that I didn't care, right? Yeah. I, I loved it. <laughs> this yeah. is the best. Yeah. You're right, man. Right? I just think. I just need to reevaluate, like, my old normal is no longer normal. So mental toughness, and I'm in a lot of David Goggins groups, mental toughness right now doesn't mean me going and killing myself at the gym. It means me reevaluating and focusing on a different part of my life and stepping back to step forward. 
you have to be here's the thing you tie your self worth to your effort mm -hmm. you you can't go back i haven't i can't go back to the gym yet even now i'm still doing like even this morning i had to do physio right where i can like i can't move my neck as much as i used to and so i still yeah. have to do my physio three times a day uh i was doing some some uh packing stuff yesterday and my back was just everything all my all well, my lower and upper back was just on fire because I haven't used those muscles in you know three months, two months, yeah. um, and I'm still not allowed to work out yet. Mm. So I, I I can't tie my self worth to well I, I can't get into the gym yet. I'm not cleared to do it. I'm tying my yeah. self worth to am I am I trying my best? Damn Cause right. Because I, I have to try harder now than I ever did before. Like lifting that box is a lot harder than it ever used to be. It takes more of me, and so I'm pumped. I'm pumped at mm -hmm. how hard I'm trying, even though the results aren't aren't there yet compared to what I used to be able to do. So Melissa Jackson isn't a badass because she can go to the gym mm -hmm. and and lift whatever. It's because she's off trying every day, facing <laughs> the demons every day. Hell yeah, brother! Thanks so much. I yeah. really appreciate that. Cool. I'm, I'm, awesome. I'm like, I would, I would, I would say I'm sad for you, but I'm, I'm actually pumped for you. Like <laughs> it's, it's the, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's the same thing. Like this is, you're going to come out of this an insanely powerful woman. Yeah. I'm going to be whooping On top more of what you level. Level. <laughs> There's this great Haitian quote, uh, behind the mountains, more mountains. Mm. I love That's that. Beautiful. Yeah. It's like, you don't want to just sit and relax and be comfortable. You don't want to photocopy your life over and over again. You want to go through challenges. The challenges make you stronger. I want to climb the next mountain. Yeah. That's where all the 100%. growth is. Yeah. And I mean, it's just, it, it, it provides empathy for other people and their adversity. And it also, you know, it gets more cookie, more cookies in the cookie jar, like David Goggins talks about, you know, so it'll be interesting to see what I can make out of this for sure. This is the best. I'm so pumped for you. Awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right. I love you. Talk to you soon. You. Bye. Take care. If you want to spend some one on one time with me, I have a special offer happening right now. Go check out the website right next to me. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.